Christ, Hazrat Mehdi peace be upon him, and is explained in detail there. It's the same in the hadith of our Prophet ﷺ. Similar happenings will take place. That's it. This means world dominion of B'nai Israel is actually the world dominion of Muslims. But B'nai Israel doesn't consist of irreligious or atheist people. It's the Prophet Abraham's lineage that is intended to rule the world. Hazrat Mehdi, peace be upon him, is a descendant of the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, and the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is also from the lineage of the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Muslims are children of the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, in a spiritual sense. Therefore, the ones who love Allah, who love the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, who love Islam, will rule the earth. This indicates supremacy of the Quran all over the world, and this is what we understand from B'nai Israel's world dominion as described in the Torah. This will come about because the Quran reveals this fact. This is so since the atheist Zionists or contemptible communists are not intended in the Torah. In fact, they are described as harlots and disgraced in the Torah, and we learn in the Quran that Allah inflicts troubles on them. Allah says they will be retributed and believers will prevail in the end. B'nai Israel is actually the that phrase is another name for the believer.